so here's how my new little bird photograph up close capturing thing works. Well, how it used to work, it just broke. Well, broke third time I used it, not endorsing this product. Okay, let's pretend it didn't just break and ruin everything. So, get your tripod and you get your phone. I bought this on Amazon, 10 bucks, should have spent 11. Get your camera, make sure your camera is fully charged because this process will eat up your batteries. I create a little checklist. So, number one. Two. Turn off screen saver because when you're sitting and waiting for a cool bird to show up, you don't want your screen to shut off and your phone to go into standby. But I'll tell you what, if you forget to change that back, you'll, your battery will be dying all the time and you'll be pretty sad. So, camera charged. It's not, it will be. Turn off screensaver. It is. Put camera into tripod. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. Most phones have a front and rear facing camera. The rear facing camera is almost always much higher definition, much better video quality than the front facing camera. So, I always want to use the back facing camera. Realize your camera is either high or low. It's really cool if you can mount it so that the camera is low and that you're almost looking up at the bird or whatever you're shooting. Very few pictures out there are close-ups looking up at a bird. So this thing you just slide it and it snaps in place and I should have spent eleven dollars. So you've got a charged phone, you've got your little tripod, hopefully mine's a bipod now, that's okay because I strap mine to the rail with um, a bungee cord. So I don't really need to do this. Although this is pretty cool stuff in that it'll hang on. <laughs> okay, so yeah, next time I'm spending the extra money. So this is obviously not an endorsement for any brand. This is a technique video. I am not endorsing any brand because some brands are pieces of crap and stuff falls off of them, especially when you're doing a video. It's embarrassing. I'm supposed to be a professional here. So, <laughs> I better be careful with this or I won't be able to shoot any birds today. Um, so, you've got your phone. I put my lens down low. You can put your lens up high. You can put your lens any way you want. But I try to shoot out of the back lens. And one thing a lot of people neglect is to clean their camera lenses on a regular basis. Now, so you get your microfiber cloth and you give it a buff and look and now that lens is flawlessly clean. You will get more resolution just by taking a couple of moments to wipe off the lens. Don't use your shirt, don't use a tissue, especially a used tissue. Microfiber it's famous for a reason. Now that you're set up, start thinking about your shots. Me, I'm shooting birds on that land on the rail of my back deck. So I've got the rail and I've got the bird. And I've got some seed because I am not beyond baiting to get a good shot. Now, Everyone knows that a picture of a bird on a rail or on a bird feeder doesn't count. But these pictures are so cool and so easy and they get so much attention on Instagram and Facebook, I'm going to keep shooting them. Um, because, you know, I'm an attention wh whore. No. Because I'm an attention seeker. So you've got your bird and you've got this and now you're going to have this weird broken tripod with a big camera on it. Now. Here's the sun. You want the camera to be on the same side of the bird as the, 
sun. The sun on my back deck comes from behind the house, so the sun, I can't shoot from my deck because the sun's back here and all I'm getting is a shadowy bird. So I have to hang my camera out over my yard so that I can get the sunny side of the bird. Now one of the issues I'm facing here is this camera casts a huge shadow. And you don't want that shadow in your picture. It's just tacky. So plan your shot. Wait for the good sun. You don't want any shadows across the bird. And think about your background. I got some great shots yesterday with a wheelbarrow and snow shovel, a rusted axe, and a crappy pile of wood in the background. It looks like crap. Sun, subject, background. That will dictate the angle of your camera and the placement of your camera. S, S, A. Sun, subject, and background. SSB. <laughs> you can tell I really put a lot of pre thought into this back. Sun, subject, background. Like I said, this is not an endorsement of any product. I will use the broken leg to repeat. This is not an endorsement of any certain brand name products. I wonder if this little gripper will fit on a real tripod. Oh, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it completely eliminates the handy dandiness of this, but at least now, I've got a nice gripper that can go on top of my tripod, which I'm not going to use right now because it is unfeasible to hang a tripod off the back of my deck hanging out over my yard. Okay, here's my fancy schmancy attachment. And the sun is gone. We're now in shadow. It's been a rainy morning, but that's okay. I can deal. Here we go. Got the little selfie monopod now. It's not a bipod, not a tripod. It's a monopod. And I just put it under there. And normally it's not quite that wobbly because normally it has more legs than this. And then face it around. And if the sun's coming from this side like it normally does, then I come way over to the side and I hang out terribly scary perilously off the side. Then you turn on your phone and you turn on the camera and you frame your shot and you test out, oh this looks good, it's nice and close. But look at the background. This is my background for this shot. Crap. Here's my little setup. I would suggest, and I am going to, get a better monopod, gorilla pod, flexipod, whatever pod this thing is. Because right now I've got a poo poo pod. This little monopod came with a very, this is what makes this such a cool setup is, monopod came with a Bluetooth remote. It paired very, very easily. It does have apps and stuff that you can use with it. I don't use the apps. I don't want to use the apps. On. On. Off. The reason why I like it so much is I can sit inside on my couch, warm, lazy, and just click this button and get shots. And the thing about the iPhone is if you press and hold this button, it takes a burst of photos. So you can sit and press the button for several seconds and get a bunch of really good photos of birds, then you can weed out the wussy ones, the bad ones, and the crappy ones, and hopefully pick out a few gems. And like I said, I am not beyond baiting to get my bird shots. But set it up, the framing is good, the bird's probably going to be in here. So you want some room to crop on each side. And there we have it. And, well, let's just hope this thing stays here. Guess what I'm not getting? 
photographs. You know why? Read step one of my getting ready. Make sure your battery is charged. Mine's not. I got some shots. All right, let's see how they go. Squirrels. Well, I hope you get some good shots. I hope you enjoyed the video and push yourself. Do something different. Do something uncomfortable. Do something new and post your pictures. Get some feedback. Don't be afraid. All right. Thanks.